Hey everyone, my name is Royce and I'm a first year MD PhD student at UPenn. In this video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the why this school question. This question appears on medical school secondaries and interviews. And if you have any questions about what a secondary is and how that fits into the general timeline of the med school application cycle, uh, feel free to check out my video that will pop up in this corner that will go over the entire medical school application cycle and where everything falls in place. So the general strategy is to be specific and individualized with your response. You want to personally stand out in the huge pool of medical school applicants. And you can do this by tying in specific aspects of your application as you answer the question. So this includes how you would benefit personally from the features offered by school and also how you personally can contribute. And also you want to make sure that you're talking about very specific things that do not apply to other schools. So you can test this really easily actually. After you formulate your response for a specific school, swap the name of the school out with another school's name. And if it still makes sense, then it's probably too generic of an essay. So when you're starting to approach these essays, believe me, I know, it can be really overwhelming because there's just so many schools you gotta look at. Uh, so my general advice is start by just perusing the websites of a few schools. And so by the time you start writing a specific essay for a specific school, you can get a sense of what is unique to that school and therefore include that in your essay. So yeah, it's kind of boring, but you just got to sit down and look at the school's websites to get a sense of what the school is about. But if you do happen to know a current student in a medical school, feel free to reach out to them. They can be a valuable source of information when crafting your essays. Alright, now I'm going to talk about the five factors that you should specifically focus on when writing this essay. Now the first one is research. So I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you're not interested in basic science research, that is totally fine. You do not have to do that as a medical student. But if you are interested in basic science research or clinical research, I would look at the school's websites, look at their department directories, and find you know around three PIs that you could see yourself working with. And remember to tie this into yourself to make this a personalized essay. So an example of this might be, you know, I like Dr. Smith because they do computational genetics research, and uh, I did that as an undergrad too, and I could see myself working in their lab. Uh, make sure the response is a little more readable than what I just said there. So another thing you talk about is clinical opportunities. And again, be very specific. So if you're interested in serving a lab next population, you could talk about, you know, a student-run clinic at the med school that serves a Spanish-speaking population primarily. So as a side note, I probably would not mention residency match lists in this section. So I wouldn't say, you know, I really like UPenn because they match really well in neurosurgery because, you know, there's so many factors that go into a match list. For example, you know, maybe the students that year just weren't interested in neurosurgery. So the next factor is curriculum. Remember to be specific here. So you can talk about specific electives if their curriculum is systems based or if they have a big emphasis on small groups. Now a big factor that is underrated in my opinion is the mission statement and philosophy of a school. For example, let's say, you know, a school's mission statement, you know, emphasizes the relationship with the community that physicians have. And yeah, you could totally use this space to talk about that one time you influenced policy making about how you leveraged your position as a student who's interested in health uh, in advocacy at the community level. Another really important factor is student culture. Um, of course, you can't really experience this unless you know a current student at a medical school or when you go on your interview and see, hey, are these people you know, really cutthroat? Or are they more chill and you know, do they fit your vibe or not? And I think it's okay to not be able to talk about student culture in your secondaries, but of course you can talk about student culture after the interview in the form of an update letter email. And I want to quickly touch on location. I personally don't think you should talk about location at all because it's just not really a compelling reason. You know, anyone can say, you know, I want to go to UCSF because of the Cali vibes, you know, but what about like Stanford or UCLA or USC? You know, it's such a generic reason. Um, that's basically it for this video. Um, so if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you later.